Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Born Pretty water decals, and I'm going to put them over Color Club's Starlight Star Break. I've started off with two base coats <laughs> and Starlight Star Break by Color Club. I was sent these decals from Born Pretty by Emily for review, and I am really excited about doing this Manny today. I've already picked them out, which ones I was going to use, but we're going to start off with just a basic manicure. I <laughs> say basic. It's hollow. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful all on its own. So there's the first coat, and now we're going to do a second coat of Starlight Star Bright from Color Club. It's a pretty, um, you know, it's gold. It's hollow. It's beautiful. And I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to get it to dry down so that I can play with these water decals. And I would like to thank Emily and Born Pretty for sending me these for review. I love water decals. Look how gorgeous. So here's the pack. It's 42892. And there's 24 of them in here. And they're only $2.59. I love that. Look at these. Now you see why I had to get these. They got moons and swirls. I love these origami looking ones. And then I uh, just, I think there's so many neat ones in this pack that I just, I, I know I'm going to get loads of enjoyment out of it. More moons. Some kind of flowers and mandala dream catcher looks beautiful flowers feathers and some more origami looking things and these are the ones I'm gonna end up using <laughs> and then this gorgeousness and I like those those are kind of funky and some more sun and moons some more flowers I just really think that this is a neat pack. It's got a, a good variety of um, images, some with color. Most of them are black or black and white, and I like that. I think they're going to be real fun. These will be nice to do, like down the nails or on the tips, as French tips. So there we go. I've got my pieces already cut out, and I've removed the plastic film off the top. And then I've got me a cotton round with some water inside of a plastic lid. I learned this trick from Manisha and I love it. I don't know that I'm ever going to go back to fishing them out of a bowl again. And I just, I'm going to tap them and let them sit just for a few seconds. It didn't take long. And I'm going to fumble with this. I'm just going to, you guys know I show it all. Um, but I have trouble getting them to just, used to, I could just like catch them on the dry nail and just slide them off. But these are being tricky, <laughs> but it's all good. I am wetting that thumbnail so that um, I can slide it around a little bit. It's not like once you place it and then done, I'm, I'm able to still maneuver it a little bit. And then I'm going to tap the water out with the paper towel. And once you get that water out of there, that's it. It's stuck there. It is right there, and it's not going anywhere. Very pretty. I love it. And then I'm going to do this next one on my pointer. I love, love these water decals. They're really nice and thin, too. I didn't have any issues with them um, not conforming to my curvy nails. They, they Look how that one's like climbing back up on the paper naughty little decal but I really do like I mean because that nail right there is really curvy and I just tapped it and tapped it and it laid flat and I soaked up the water out of it and there's no bump or nothing love it and I couldn't even see the edge where the decal ended so that's good stuff there and here we go this next one just jumped off so I'm going to try to use tweezers, get that nail wet, just get it on there so I can start sliding it around. There we go. Water slide decals, that's what we do with them. I'm trying to get that one positioned nicely too. But I thought this hollow base would be perfect for these. And 
I have to tell you all how much I love this manicure. I just loved it. Really, really nice. And it wasn't frustrating. I mean, I, yeah, I do struggle with the decals a little bit, but not, not nothing crazy or nothing. I don't want to give up or nothing like that. It was, it was just these little decals. Just, I'm telling you, watch. Here we go. We're going to try to get it, slide it some more, some more free edge. Nope, nope. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I mean, like watching a train wreck trying to get them with the tweezers. That's why I use my fingers a lot. I mean, it doesn't hurt to touch them, so uh, I use my fingers a lot of times. But when the tweezers do work, it's nice. So there we go, tapping that water out again. Aren't these just beautiful images? Love them. With the pops of color. I just really, really do like them. There we go. Wetting that nail again so that I can slide that decal around a little bit. There we go. And that one went pretty easy. See? Now, I don't know that delivery to the nails can be so easy. We'll see. That was pretty good. Wish they all worked that way. <laughs> There we go, we're tapping it down, getting it in place. And then we're gonna get the excess water up. I do have a little bit sticking off the free edge, so I'm just gonna tap it with some acetone and melt it. And that's it. So we're gonna top these with posh top coat and seal in these decals. And I'm in love with it. I would love to hear your thoughts though. What do you think about them? Um, and do you like water decals? Are you a water decal wearer? I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Oh, and look, a surprise visit from Woody. Ta-da, there it is. So I've got a swatch photo coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.